The old man was trying to tell the future, looking for pictures in the campfire. Oh, I see evil, evil, born deep beneath the city. Far from the light of day, I see it growing safe beneath a sky of steel, scheming in the dark, gathering strength. And now, oh, now the evil spreads. It sends deadly feelers over the land above, across the gap, reaching towards this very place. I'd seen him do it a hundred times, but I humored him. After all, he'd been like a father to me. And what does this evil want here? Oh, my son, I fear, I fear the evil wants you. That was when Joey piped up. Sensors detect incoming audio source. The evil, the evil is nearly here. It sounded more like a copter than a demon. But the next thing, all hell went loose in Run, Foster, run! Hide from the evil! Foster! Help! Better make my next body move faster, Foster! He was only a robot. Oh, I love the little guy. Then, as suddenly as it started, the shooting stopped. There was a moment's silence as the copter cut its rotors. Then... Whoever is in charge here, come forward. Now! Only a fool would have argued with that firepower. I am the leader of these people. We are peaceful. Bring him here. At once, Commander Reich. We're looking for someone. Someone who doesn't belong here. Who wasn't born in this garbage dump. Who came from the city as a child. We want to take him home again. My mind racing. I remembered where I'd seen that symbol before. It was the day the tribe found me. The day of the crash. The day my mother died. You all right, city boy? Got a name, son? R Robert. Ah, oh, welcome to the gap, Robert. As he patched me up, the old man had gently explained that there was no way back into the city, and I already knew there was nothing he could do for mother. His tribe was poor but they treated me like one of their own. I learned how to survive in the wasteland they called the Gap, and scavenging from the city dumps. As the years passed, I forgot my life in the city, discovered new talents. Ha! I'm your friend. Call me Joey. And got a second name. This is what we'll call you. Now that you've come of age, son, we found you, fostered you, so that makes you Robert Foster. Wasted enough time. Give us the runaway, or we'll shoot everyone, starting with you, Grandad. The old man had been right for once. It was me they wanted. No, my son. Don't let the evil take you. Run! DNA scan confirms it's him, sir. Evil had come to the gap, just as he said. Take him. But had the old man seen why it wanted me, or what it would do next? It was too late to ask him now. Leaving destruction zone, Commander Reich. Good. Detonate. Much too late. Why, you murdering? Keep him quiet! All I could do was wait. Just like on a hunt. Just like the old man taught me. Wait, and be ready. It was dawn when we reached the city. Land in the central security compound. A dawn my tribe would never see. They were no more than a note in Reich's book now. Yes, sir. Locking on automatic landing beacon. But what was I? Why did... Sir! The guidance system! It's gone crazy! We're going to hit! Maybe I'd get some answers now. If I survived another copter crash. <laughs>
What you want? Looking for a saboteur from the gap. He crashed a chopper and escaped. Oh, sounds dangerous to me. Don't worry, he's not going anywhere. We cut the power to the elevator. And the crash has blocked the walkway. What if he comes in here? You'll be fine, we posted guards. And Reich wants to hunt him down personally. Reich, eh? This guy must be important. Yeah, we got orders direct from Link. Take him alive before he does any more damage. Best of luck to you. These guys are out to get me, but why? They already destroyed my home and my people. Well, Reich, whoever you are, it's retribution time. Gotta be clever. Play them at their own game. First thing is to get Joey running again. Doesn't look as if it's ever used. Shut tight. Just as well there isn't a fire. I could make use of that. There. You won't escape that way! He must have jumped. Fell all the way to ground level. You lucky escape. Security symbol. That must be their headquarters. Doesn't look as if it's ever used. That panel in the floor looks like an elevator. It doesn't look as if it would bear my weight. I guess this leads outside. It's locked. No way out through there. It's wheezing and banging. Like an asthmatic dinosaur in the mating season. I'm not putting my hand anywhere near there. A transport droid. Wonder if I could fix it. If Joey was here, he'd know what to do. There doesn't appear to be anything wrong with it. An elevator to the floor below. Hey, what are you doing? Weren't you told? Routine inspection. Well, keep off that elevator. Your weight set the alarm off. And I can't concentrate with all that noise. A discarded coffee machine? It's a robot shell. Rusty, but it might work. It's got no circuit board. 
That's no use. There's no jug. Welcome back, Joey. Is this the best shell you could find? Listen, we're in deep trouble. You've turned me into a vacuum cleaner. It's functional. Don't be ungrateful. Now, I don't know where we are, or why we were brought here, but I intend to get some answers. I've got a weird reading from my scanner. We're 120 meters above the ground. We've got to find a way down and keep out of the way of security. Flashing lights like these can be hypnotic. There's no way of changing the sequence. Just a jumble of ASCII, meaningless. Lots of buttons just asking to be pressed. There must be a secret combination. Smart design. What are you doing? Get out! That's my personal property! It's displaying technical information. These figures mean nothing to me. It's a lever with a big red knob just waiting to be pulled. It must be controlled by the computer. What's our present location? What does it matter? We've had it. What is this place? It's not worth explaining. You're too thick. Can you distract that maintenance man? What do you suggest? A song and dance routine? A few conjuring tricks? Now you're being silly. That little shell suits you, Joey. Get lost, Foster. It's awful. Find me a new one. What tools does that shell have? None of any use. Unless you're into housework. I've got an onboard buffing and polishing tool. And an extendable probe. We have to get out of this city. Can't we just stay here? Don't you miss our home, the Gap? With all that sand clogging my circuits? No, I don't. Forget it. Tree World. See the world as your ancestors saw it. I don't want that. It's depressing. Insurance certificate. Years out of date. I could take this, but I'm sure it's no use. Excuse me. What now? Who's in charge around here? Not me. I just work here. Hobbins is the name. Who's in charge, and where can I find him? It's Lamb you'll be wanting. He's the supervisor. I see. And who does he work for? The council, of course. Tell me more about the council. They govern the city, with the help of Link. What's that? The computer they built as their advisor. What was it like before Link? Ah... Those were the days, son. We didn't have the problems we got now. 
So who built the computer? Oh, search me! Flipping research scientist, probably! How come your fire exit leads nowhere? You been up there? It's not safe! I could see that. If you break your legs, don't come running to me for sympathy! Where am I? You're in the Union City recycling plant. Do you buy scrap metal? I don't want to be recycled, Rob. I like the shell, really. What's the best way out of the city? You'll have to get to ground level first. You're at the top of Erie Tower Block. Can't I use your elevator? No, you can't. It's not built for humans. And besides, it only goes down to the furnace. So how do I get to ground level? There's an elevator out on the walkway. Of course, you can't reach it right now. Why not? Because Reich's boys are guarding the exit from the plant. How come your elevator's not working? It's activated automatically by the transport robot. What's wrong with the transport? It's broken down. Again. It's probably the Doppler charge thingamajig. But I haven't got time to mend it now. What did security want? After a saboteur. You seen anything suspicious? I saw a wrecked helicopter. Yeah. Seems it blocked the walkway. So we're stuck in this block. What goes on in here? It's me workshop. <laughs> like it? It's very impressive. A symbol of dehumanized society. The futile struggle against entropy. Symbol my bum. <laughs> Only thing this symbolizes is 30 years of hard craft. What are you making? It's a special job. A drive shaft. Lamb needs it for the pipe factory. I'll get on with my inspection. You do that, son. Where did you get that robot? I built him. Like it? It's crap, son. An elevator to the floor below. I told you to stay off the elevator. That alarm is driving me spare. Double-checking. Gah! Flipping inspectors! What are you doing? Get out! That's my personal property! Supervisor complains that I'm late. I'll tell him it was your fault.
Excuse me. What now? I'll get on with my inspection. You do that, son. There doesn't appear to be anything wrong with it. There's no obvious reason why this droid isn't working. Can you start that transport? How do you expect me to do that? I'm just a cleaning droid, remember? It's the, uh, Knopfler Charge Reducer thingy. In that case, all it needs is a jump start. This is embarrassing, Foster. You're not gonna watch, are you? I always suspected you of being a voyeur. Come on, just do it. Here goes. There. How was it for you? An elevator to... Some oven. Wonder what's cooking. That thing's watching me. Good thing I'm naturally photogenic. It's much too high to reach. No buttons, just a thin slot. I've got nothing that would fit. It must need a special card. That's got to be a way out. This must be where the scrap gets melted. Is that why you brought me here? Don't worry, kid. They'd only take premium quality scrap. Think this could be a way out? Through the furnace? I don't rate our chances. If you can't be sensible, be quiet. I think we're being watched. They seem to think you're someone special. I can't imagine why. You didn't tell me you could fly. I didn't know I had it in me. Can you open that door? I'll give it a try. No sudden moves over, man. Get over to the furnace. You're Officer Reich, I presume. You've made a mistake. I'm not Overman. Link, we can't let him escape. What the hell is going on? Reich seems pretty cut up about it, but he's given me two leads. 
Overman and Link. Barbecued. I'll never eat kebab again. He was carrying an ID card. The card may be useful. And I'll take his dark glasses, too. We're way up in the clouds, Joey. We need to find a way to the ground. Yes, I'd like to... Is this regarding a domestic incident? I've been transferred from domestics. I have this tendency to get emotionally involved. You're too sensitive, Sam. It's my nature, Norville. It's not about a domestic. That's a relief. Interlevel access suspended during routine anti-terrorist strike. Security services protecting the community. The notice is firmly attached to the elevator. It's a standard card slot. Nothing happens. Either it's the wrong card or the elevator's not working, which means I'm trapped. An elevator to a lower level. Couldn't open that, even with a crowbar. It's a computer terminal, with the word LINK on it. Nothing happens.
That chopper's a right up. I was lucky to get out alive. What happened here? Sabotage chopper crashed. Destroyed the hospital. A hospital? That's tragic. Could have been worse. It almost hit the factory. When will this wreckage be cleared? When the cleanup crew arrive. Walkway is off limits. You'll have to take the elevator down to Bellevue. It's not working. Too bad. You're not very helpful. It's not in my nature to help people. In that case, why did you join security? My mother talked me into it. I wanted to work with animals. Always fancied vivisection. Do you mind if I watch? There's nothing much to see. They've already scraped out the remains of the crew. Were there any survivors? Yeah. The dirty sab who caused the crash. But Captain Wright will deal with him. He's a living legend among security men. So you reckon it was sabotage? Things don't crash without a reason. I don't want to be a scaremonger, but... It was probably the work of crazies from Hobart. Hobart? What's that? A rival corporation. Hobart City. Never mind. Never mind. It's a robot welder. Joey would love that shell. There's no access to his insides. What are you doing? I'm checking the pipe. They have to be perfect. That's ridiculous. If they have to be perfect, they should be checked by a robot. What's that? He's my mechanoid chum, Joey. It's cute. Does it do tricks? Not really. He just follows me around and gets in my way. How do I get down to ground level? Take the elevator. Or the big jump if you're desperate. The elevator's not working. Oh, great. Lamb will be furious if he can't get down to Bellevue for his lunch. Has security been in here? Yeah, they're really stirred up. I think they were looking for someone. Look, I'm not supposed to talk to you. Why not? Supervisor orders. I'm transferring you, lass. I wish you wouldn't call me that. My name is Anita. Don't answer back, woman. Report to the testing room immediately. What are you doing here? Do you know who I am, lad? I've no idea. I don't work here. I'm Gilbert Lamb, the supervisor. Mind if I look around? I certainly do. Who are you? Safety inspector. Outrageous. I've not been notified. Besides, we were inspected last week. This is a random spot check. I don't care. Get out!
The display is incomprehensible. I don't understand it at all. Hey! My mistake, thought it was the John. It's the storeroom, for robots only. Lamb doesn't trust humans to go in there, even though there's nothing worth pinching. It's part of the mechanism driving the conveyor. Sure to lose my fingers if I put them in there. Excuse me. Any intruders to report? No, sir. Hey, just a minute. Who are you? Safety inspector. Not again. If there's been a breach of regulations, see Lamb about it. He's responsible for safety. Don't you get bored working here? Well, not me. I like my job. What's so good about it? Well, this clipboard, for starters. Look at the finish on that plastic. Lovely piece of lamination. Isn't it just? I can tell you're proud of it. Oh, yes. They don't make clipboards like this anymore. How do I get off this level? Well, I hear there's been a crash. So access to high green is cut off. You'll have to use the elevator. What can you tell me about the council? I used to think they did a great job. But since they promoted Lamb, I've had my doubts. Do you know a guy called Overman? I don't think so. He certainly doesn't work here. Hey! You'll need a rad suit if you're going in there. Hey, what do you mean? This one is totally rad. I mean protective clothing. How can we get off this level, Joey? We need to find an elevator. Unless you're prepared to jump. I want you to check out the storeroom. What's the catch? There's no catch. There could be something useful in there. Don't count on it. Looks through to another room. Find anything useful in the stores? No, but there's a fuse box on the wall connected to the alarm system. Can you disconnect it? Sorry, no can do. Go and disable the fuse box in the stores. No chance, not in this shell. Anyway, what if a grown-up saw me? I'd be crazy to dismantle a robot while it's active. That's really put a wrench in the works. Oh no! Production stopped. You wouldn't know anything about it, would you? The 
machinery looks outdated to me. It's not that old. It was only built 30 years ago. That explains why it stops, doesn't it? Oh well, I'll pretend I didn't notice it. The cogs are wrecked, but the wrench is fine. I'll keep this wrench. It's really useful. I've loosened the robot's shell. It's a robot welder. The shell is loose now. Do you want a new shell, Joey? Do you mean that welder? That's right. You like it? I'll say. It's the Mutt's Nuts. Excellent! How do you like the new shell? It's sleek! Can't wait to use the welder! You be careful with that thing! If I want you to use it, I'll tell you! Exterminate! Exterminate! And cut that out! Go and disable the fuse box in the stores. I could melt through it with my welder. Wouldn't that be dangerous? Very, but I'm feeling reckless. And welding is fun. Take care, Joey. Joey certainly made a mess of that. No way I could fix the wiring. It's a heavy metal flap. Lubricant. This stuff is always useful. It's a lump of gray stuff. Give me an analysis, Joey. It contains flour, water, vegetable oil, salt, egg, garlic, with glycerin and pig lungs. Oh, disgusting! Give me an analysis, Joey. It's an ID card in the name of Reich. You'd better keep that, Foster. Don't move! 
I have to search you. What for? I'm not a criminal. It's the supervisor's orders. If anything's missing, I get the blame. Hey, that tickles. Open up that coat. Why are you carrying that crowbar? It's got sentimental value. My mother gave it to me. Is that a wrench? I carry it for luck. You're a walking toolbox. Blimey! Smart shades. You can have them if you like. Really? Oh, I could fix them with sticky tape. Is that a can of lubricant? Yes. One squirt is just the job. I'd never be without a can of lubricant. You are now. Cause that can is mine. What the hell is that? It's a sausage sandwich. Can I have it for my lunch? You're welcome. You nicked that key, didn't you? Thank you for your cooperation. By the way, that sweater you're wearing. Don't laugh at my sweater. I'm not. I think it's brilliant. Will you swap it for my clipboard? Not in a million years. Give me an analysis, Joey. I think it's putty. You're wrong. That's plastic explosive. Hey, Lamb. Do you know a guy called Overman? Doberman? No, I don't. What do you do for entertainment around here? If I'm looking for entertainment, I go home and watch a video. When will the elevator be repaired? I don't know. Security have disabled the elevator. It's not good enough. I shall register a complaint. The council shall hear of this. Excuse me. Yep. What do you want, speak up? I'm here to inspect the plant. Oh, I'm allergic to plants. They give me sores and boils. I meant the power plant. Well, what's stopping ya? Who are you anyway? My name's Foster. Stay away from him, Rob. He's a human bomb. What are you talking about? He's got a fuse in his mouth. That's a cigarette. He's inhaling the smoke for pleasure. Get serious, Foster. Has security been through here? Yes, they have. Not a moment's peace. Did they find the Sabs yet? I don't think so. Yeah. I hope they string them up. Who do these Sabs represent? You what? I said, you what? Another corporation, you thick wit. Obart, our biggest rivals. You mean we're at war with them? Economically we are, and they're winning. How come? 
by flooding the market with gimmicky garbage. Don't you ever do any work? Can't you see I'm trying to sleep? Do you know a guy called Overman? Nah, never heard of him. What's your opinion of the council? They're doing a grand job. I want to get out of the city. You what? What do you want to do that for, eh? I don't belong here. Where do you belong, then? I'm from the wilderness. The gap, you mean? Bloody awful place, full of mutants. Have you ever been there? Not me. I don't want to get contaminated. Don't mind me. I can see you're busy. It's marked Surge Test Control. It's marked Surge Test Control. There's a safety device holding it fast. Open up that control panel. Can't be done. How do you know? You haven't even tried. If you look at it, you'll find it's locked. Try pressing the button on the right. Nothing's happening, Rob. There's a safety device holding... I've loosened the nut. There's a safety device... I've loosened the nut. Try pressing the button again. You're in my way, Foster. Try pressing the button again. Now you've done it, mate. I'll have to fetch old Obin. And you better stay here in case there's an explosion. I don't have time to sit around like that old man. That chair's like its owner, an antique. That's dangerous. The electricity could leak out. Can't reach the switch. That's dangerous. Never mind. It switched. There's no power like... This must control a power supply, but to... This must control...
nothing happens. Either it's the wrong card, or the yellow, which means I... This must come. A loose cable. Now that I can't reach the cable. Fancy doing some welding, Joey? You bet. I want some action. Who's the victim? You can't go using your welder on people. Oh yeah? Who says? Asimov's Laws of Robotics. That's fiction, Foster. It's just something some guy made up. It's sound moral sense. Anyway, what I had in mind was that cable. This sounds like a job for Captain Welder. Come on, Joey. It's long and flexible, just what I need. Welcome to Link. Please insert your card. If that's art, I must be missing something. A big female robot with a welding torch. What a dump. I wouldn't want to go there. It's a wooden case with lots of little compartments. It's a painting of how things used to look. Bigger than the one I had as a kid. I used to Hello. Welcome to Trevor's Travel Company. Where do you want to go? Can you get me to ground level? Sure, on one of my luxury air coach tours. Coach travel makes me sick. Me too. I prefer to keep my wheels on the ground. What kind of tours do you offer? Well, there's a wide choice. The Grand City Tour, the Economy City Tour, 
and the mystery tour. What's the difference between grand and economy? The economy tour is cheaper. Exactly the same itinerary, but less prestigious. What's the mystery tour? If I told you, it wouldn't be a mystery. How do I know it's not a rip-off? That's the chance you have to take. Forget about the tour. Book me on the economy tour. I'll make your reservation. You can pick up the ticket in a month or two. Can't I have the ticket now? Sorry, there's a waiting list. Is there anything you'd swap for a ticket? I doubt if you've anything which interests me. Go on. Give me a ticket. I told you, there's a waiting list. Do you know a guy called Overman? Never heard of him. It doesn't matter. Hello. Hi. You look like a man who needs insurance, yeah? Can I interest you in this? A rogue robot policy. I've never heard of that before. It's a safeguard against the possibility of your robot turning on you. Joey would never do that. Aha! So you think. Surveys show that 42% of all domestic droid owners are worried about the risk of attack. This is bullshit, Foster. Don't listen to that moron. Nasty temper that robot's got, yeah? Tell me more about the policy. All you have to do is sign a form. We'll do a probability estimate and give you the results next month. How come it takes so long? We have to strip the robot down and analyze each component. I do not want him handling my parts, Foster. Now I'm definitely not interested. Tell you what, take time to consider it, yeah? shows the state of business, and it doesn't look good. A guy in a rubber raincoat carrying an anchor. The anchor is firmly attached to the statue. Can you interface with that computer, Joey? I could if I wanted to. I'm asking you to do it. Correction, you're ordering me to do it. Don't be pedantic, just do it. What am I searching for? Anything on Overman for a start. This directory is a hopeless mess. I'm going to reorganize his hard drive. That's better. There's nothing on Overman, though. Use your welder on that statue, Joey. What for? That anchor could be useful. I'm always ready for a spot of welding. Hey! Get your robot away from my statue! Do you have a client called Overman? I'll check the computer files. Do you know the first name? Uh, no. Hmm. Do you know the address? Uh, no. 
Do you know what sex this person is? Well, presumably he's male. At last we're getting somewhere. Now, what is his link status? I haven't a clue. Never mind. I'll try a search anyway. Name, Overman. Address, unknown. Sex, male, possibly. Oh, that's funny. I can't find anything. The computer's gone down on me, huh? <laughs> Computers, huh? Well, I won't be able to help you after all. Can you help me get to ground level? Ah, what you need is travel insurance, huh? Just to use an elevator? Hey, man, those things are death traps, yeah? Our policy gives you cover for all elevator-related situations. Tell me more. You'll be covered against vertigo, injuries caused by faulty doors, fellow passengers with flatulence. What about being trapped in an elevator? I hate confined spaces. Well, I'm sorry, but that's your problem. Maybe a shrink could help ya. Why did you choose a career in insurance? With a name like mine, it was my destiny. I'm Billy Anchor, ya? Yeah? Bet that caused problems at school. It certainly did. No joke being first on the register, ya? Yeah? Do you have a client called Wright? Can't you get the information from Link? I prefer dealing with people. Let's get this straight. You'd rather talk to me than use a terminal? Yes. Is there something wrong with that? Oh, no. We're going to get along fine, ya. Yeah? <laughs> well, I'd like to help you, ya. Yeah. But the computer's gone ape. Never mind. Hi, who are you? Can't you tell? I'm Mr. Cool. And you're encroaching on my personal space. How can I get out of the city? Have you thought about defecation? Don't you mean defection? What? Isn't that what I said? I asked you about leaving the city. Not bodily processes. You're not making sense. And anyway, you can't leave the city. There's a restriction on travel. That sure is a smart coat. Yeah, cool, ain't it? It makes yours look like really shabby. Where I come from, it's the height of fashion. Oh, where would that be? The wild open spaces. Where people know the true meaning of freedom. I'd sit at a dine and dress like that. There are more important things than fashion. Only one I know of, and that's poise. And you've got the poise of a wildebeest on a waltzer. Never mind. Never mind. I wouldn't bear my bum if it looked like that. A nose like that would be great for tracking. Those breasts are never natural. Bet those muscles are artificially developed. It 
looks like the plants in the gap. Not real, it's made of plastic. An illustrated brochure. Good grief, it's positively pornographic. Naked people with extra parts. The things folk do for fashion. It's a holographic projector. Welcome to Burke's Biosurgery. How may I help you? What services do you provide? A complete range of fash ops. From personal piercing to cosmetic transplants. Do people have ops to be fashionable? Certainly. Can you think of a better reason? What about medical purposes? Our clients are rich enough not to need medical treatment. It's as immovable as a stain on my conscience. This door has no handles or means of opening it. Do you think I need a doctor, Joey? We could both use an overhaul. Are you going to get a new body? There's nothing wrong with this one. Hmm. Would you let me in for a fashion op? Do you have an appointment? No, I don't. Too bad. You should have booked. Never mind. It's the elevator to ground level. This card doesn't work on this elevator. I wonder what's kept in there. It's empty. Hey, Lamb. Hello, Supervisor. What are you doing down here? Why shouldn't I be here? I, I thought you were a D-Link. You were wrong, Lamb. Call me Gilbert. I'd rather not, if you don't mind. Is this where you live? Yes, this is Bellevue. Very nice. Living here makes my job more bearable. But how I wish I could get away sometimes. What I need is a holiday. A break from all this managerial responsibility. Bet you're wondering who fixed the elevator. Whoever it was, he gets my thanks. Actually, it was me. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? You can't pull the wool over my eyes. I thought you'd be grateful. Gratitude is for folk who accept charity, lad. I've no time for sponges and scroungers. G. Lamb, it's that supervisor's apartment. Hi, my name's Foster. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gallagher. What's going on in this city? Something wonderful. Tell me about it, please. I can't do that. Everything will become apparent when the time is right. 
What are you doing? Just watching and waiting. What for? I won't know until it happens. I guess not. Are you feeling all right? Never felt better. You look depressed. Don't worry about me. You've got enough to worry about. What do you mean? Who are you? It's too early to tell. I'm newborn. Too much in flux. I don't understand. Do you always talk in riddles? I don't think I do. Maybe it's your perception that's at fault. Maybe your interpretation of what I say differs from the intent of what I mean. Maybe. Can you direct me to the ground level? You're a social transcender. Going up in this world means going down. It's all a question of status. That's right. So this is where he lived. Hey, Lamb. Never mind. Doesn't look very comfortable. It's a food dispenser. It's not switched on. It shows different kinds of fish. Reich must have been fond of them. That fish must get very bored with its little world. I better not touch. It might bite. It doesn't work. The power must be off. It must be empty. The poor fish will be hungry. That's where poor Reich slept. I couldn't sleep there. Reich would haunt me. It still bears the impression of his head. Dangerous Bikes Monthly, a motorbike magazine. Union City Fish Fanciers Club, third prize tropical mutant category. never seen anything so green. It doesn't matter. Can you interface with that computer, Joey? That's not a good idea. Why not? Because the system has a virus. How can you tell? Just believe me, I know these things.
Did you know your computer has a virus? It can't happen. My robot assures me it does. Get a life. That's just a welder on wheels. Show him, Joey. Analyze his brain patterns. You sure? It's like a cesspit in there. He's obsessed with archaic images of masculinity and his failure to live up to them. He sees the laws banning motorbikes as repressive, a form of institutionalized castration. All right, knock it off. His ideal woman would be a combination of his mother and his first moped. You leave my moped out of this. It doesn't matter. Would you swap a ticket for this magazine? You mean it? Of course I will. It's the T.E. Lawrence Collector's Issue. I've been looking for that for years. Travel co-tours. One adult. Come on, Joey. Hey, Lamb! Is your coat made of real fur? That's right! Real beaver fur! Made from the last ten beavers in the world! Do you like it? It's disgusting and immoral! You're one of those soft sentimentalists, aren't you? Well, I couldn't give a damn about beavers. What does your factory produce? Pipes, ducks, and conduits. Anything important? What do you think this city is built on? Human endeavor? Oh, aye, but I'm talking about pipes. Think of all the things they're used for. Like sewers, you mean? Let me tell you something, lad. Pipes are the arteries of this mighty erection. The veins through which its life blood pumps. And I am proud, I proud to serve the corporation. I suppose somebody has to be. See you later. What's that robot doing here? He's my personal assistant. Say hello, Joey. Hello, Joey. <laughs> Pity he's got no brain. Hey, Lamb. Would you like this ticket? What's it for, lad? A tour. Wouldn't you like a holiday? You're right. I really deserve a break. You know, I'm so touched. I'm going to give you something in return. I was kind of hoping you might. Something you'll look back on for the rest of your life. Yeah? Hi, lad. A tour of my factory. Oh, great. Meet me there. You're in for a treat. Hey, Lamb! 
When do I get the tour you promised me? Well, there's no time like the present. We'll start right now. Now, take a look at this machine. This machine measures the internal board of the pipes. Accurate to 20 decimal places, whatever that means. Impressive, isn't it? All those numbers. I'm sure they mean something. Follow me. I'll show you the next section. This machine is supposed to drive the conveyor, but it's not bloody working. Heads will roll for this. Foreman Potts, why has this machine stopped? Stopped? I've been so busy I didn't notice. Can't I trust you with anything? Look after my guest, Potts. I'll have to leave you to show yourself around. Excuse me. Aren't you going to mend the conveyor? That's not my job. My job is to record figures. But everything stopped. My clipboard still works. But what about the pipes? What pipes? The ones on the conveyor belt. That's a special order. And I can't talk about it. Top secret, huh? That's right. Mind if I look around? Since you're a friend of Lamb's, you can go where you like. But I'd stay clear of the reactor if I was you. Unless you're wearing some protection. What are you doing now? Checking for cracks with x-rays. You shouldn't be here without a protective suit. You're not wearing one. Lamb told me I didn't qualify. As I'm a dealing, and a woman. What's so special about these pipes? I'm not sure, but the dimensions of the bore must conform to precise specifications. All that effort for a bit of plumbing? It's suspicious, isn't it? Perhaps they're part of a giant weapon. Oh, come on, that's a bit far-fetched. What are you doing after work? What do you have in mind? Well, an evening at the theater, a walk by the lake in the moonlight, and to finish, a candlelit supper. Sounds great, but first I'll have to get decontaminated. Another time, perhaps. What's your opinion of lamb? I'm a dealing. I'm not entitled to an opinion. But to be honest, I think he's a turd. What's a D-Link? D-Link is the lowest social category. When your link status is zero, you forfeit all rights and your freedom to move back the city. How come you didn't know that? I'm an outsider from the Gap. So it's you security you're after. You won't get far without an ID card. Ah, I managed to find one. I bet it won't get you to ground level, though. You'll need a link status of eight or more. I have to get to ground level. Look, I really sympathize with you. I could give you my jammer. What's a jammer? Bypass software. Highly illegal. It gets you past the retina scan to security files. That's a start. Can you let me have the jammer? Give me your ID card. Here's my card. Thanks. This won't take long. What are you doing? Downloading the jammer to your card. There, it's done. Don't worry. I'll fix everything. You're taking a huge risk. No problem. I'll get us both back on Link's files. Excuse me. What's your job? 
Why are you wearing that suit? I can't hear what you're saying. It's a waste of time talking to you. You're wasting your breath. I feel an overwhelming urge to open these lockers. I feel an... I feel an... I've got a discrepancy of 0.13. Yeah? How come you were made a D-Link? I was caught hacking into Link. Why did you do that? There are areas in Link space used by security. I was trying to discover what they're up to. What do you mean by Link space? The word inside the computer's memory. The abstract projection of Link's circuits and data banks. Will the jammer get me into Link space? <sighs> no, the only access is through the special interface. There's just one little problem. You'll need to get a Schreibman port. How do I get a Schreibman port? Well, you'll have to undergo surgery. I need that like I need a hole in the head. The Schreibman port is a hole in the head. Does Link have any internal security? There'll be foils, naturally. What are they? Intrusion foil program. Are they dangerous? Standard IFPs are simply deterrents, but some high-level foils can be lethal. What do you know about the Council? It was one of the Council who came up with the plan to bond his mind with Link, and ever since then things have been getting weird. Can you understand the guy in the suit? Not in the least. I don't think he can hear me either. Hey, Lamb! Thanks for the tour. You're welcome. I hope you've learned something about pipes. Oh yes, it was most instructive. From now on, whenever I smell raw sewage, I'll think of you, Gilbert. Let me give you a tip, lad. If you want to get anywhere in this city, you have to bend the rules. In what way? If you don't want to get entangled in red tape, you need insurance, a special policy. See my friend Anchor, he'll help you out. Hey, Lamb.
Do you have a problem? Hi, lad. I was hoping to see you. My card isn't working and I can't use the elevator. Perhaps you've been made a D-Link. Don't be so bloody impertinent, lad. What will poor little Cuss Cuss do? Who's Cuss Cuss? My pussy. She has to be fed. What would I do if she died? Make a hat to match your coat? I don't think that's very funny, lad. Besides, cat and beaver fur wouldn't match. I could feed her for you. If I could get into your apartment. You go down to Bellevue, and I'll authorize it so you can. By the way, Cuss Cuss likes to be pampered. Like all women, eh, lad? <laughs> Apart from D-Links, you mean. You need therapy, lamb. Come on, Joey. It's titled, Pussies on Parade. Might have guessed Lamb would have a TV screen like that. Big, showy, and ostentatious. What a fat cat! Hello, puss. I'd better not stroke it. It might scratch me. That looks comfortable and inviting. The cushion is covered in grease and cat fur. It's a food dispenser. Know where I can get a Shreveman port? Do you have medical cover? No, I don't. Don't even consider an operation. You wouldn't believe the blunder made by deranged surgeons. I'm not interested in medical cover. What about your dependents? My only dependent is my robot. 
and he wants to be terminated when I die. Right. Without my friend Rob, my existence would be futile. What is your relationship with that robot? We're just good friends. Joey is like a brother to me. I can do you a sibling rivalry policy. I don't think so. I want one of your special policies. Who sent you? Gilbert Lamb. Lamb? He's a slime ball. I can't bear the man. I thought he was your friend. Definitely not. I can't help you, I'm afraid. Never mind. It doesn't matter. An illustrated brochure. Good grief, it's positively pornographic. Naked people with extra parts. The things folk do for fashion. I want a Schriebman port. Your name, please? Robert Foster. There's little chance of seeing the doctor. Why not? I have instructions not to disturb him. Unless you wish to pay cash, of course. Try talking to that hologram, Joey. What for? I need to see the doctor. And she won't let me in. What shall I say to her? Use your imagination. Do I have to? She gives me the creeps. It's only a hologram. Surely you can outwit it. Hi, my name's Joey. Try chatting up the hologram again. Didn't you see what happened? She ignored me. You were probably being too familiar with her. Try to be more businesslike. What do you want me to say? Use your natural charm on her. I've got an idea. I'll try the subtle approach. Hey, you! Open that door! I take my orders from Dr. Burke. I take mine from Oberman. Oh, why didn't you say so before? Good grief. Excuse me. Don't make me jump like that! Sorry, didn't realize you were busy. Just practicing. I like to keep my hand in. What can I do for you? 
I need a Shreedman port. Really? Do you have sufficient credit? All I've got are the clothes I'm wearing. In that case, you'll require the easy pay scheme. Yes, that sounds perfect. Kidney, lung, or testicles? What? what Which organ do you wish to sell? I'm not selling anything. No parts, no port. Send in the next customer. Excuse me. Maybe I wouldn't miss a kidney. I'd have to run some tests. Stand behind the scanner, please. Turn around, please. I can't use either of them. Why not? They're too good to sell at second hand. I'd have to overprice myself to be profitable. You make money by trading people's organs? What else would I do with them? Open a restaurant? Excuse me. I suppose I could spare a lung. Let's have a look at them first. On the scanner? Yes, please. Hold still, please. Has someone been experimenting on you? Why do you ask that? I've never seen a body quite like yours before. I'm afraid I can't use them. Is there something wrong? Tell me, Doc, I can take it. You're simply too healthy. Most bodies would reject your organs. Surely that's supposed to be for his patients. If I sniff that, I might end up like the doctor. A diagnostic computer. That looks ominous and scary. What a chair! It's a masterpiece in upholstery! Excuse me. I guess I've no choice, Doc. I'll have to sell you my... It's not as bad as you think. When I said I'd take your testes, I meant after your death. That's a great consolation. All I require from you now is your consent. Take a seat, please. Uh, do you use local anesthetic? Oh no, it doesn't hurt. Any more than having your ears pierced. In that case, I need a general anesthetic. You now have a Schriebman port. You may experience headaches, but don't worry, it's quite normal. Excuse me. Your receptionist certainly is strange. That's my wife you're talking about. You're married to a hologram? She wasn't a hologram when we wed. She died last year, but I decided to keep her. Doesn't the fact that she's dead distress you? No. She's a lot less trouble than when she was alive. Can you get me to ground level, Doc? I have my reputation to consider. If you're determined, you might ask my friend Willy. Just tell him I sent you. He has a rather special policy. 
I've had a bad knock on the head. Any after effects? Yeah, pain. Impairment of vision? I keep seeing flying saucers. Any dizziness? Yeah, I can hardly stand. You know, I get exactly the same myself. I wish I knew what causes it. Thanks again for the port, Doc. It's a pleasure to do business with you. It's an old phrenological diagram. It's a guy with his skin cut off. A body scanner. I want one of your special policies. Who sent you? Dr. Burke. The ghoul, huh? He's cool. So, how can I help you? Can you get me out of the city? It's dangerous. Are you sure you've got the balls? That's a delicate subject. Wait here. I have to make a call. Quick! Get that anchor while he's away. And hurry before the jerk gets back. Come on, Joey. Confirmed. Fluctuation normal. I've got the Shreedman port. Brilliant. How did you manage that? I had a trade with the doctor. I hope he didn't rip you off. No comment. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.
Seen anything of Obbins? What do you want him for? To mend the pipe in the power plant. Can't you fix it yourself? I wouldn't dare. Well, I haven't seen Obbins all day. He's probably busy. Yes? I'd like a few answers. Yes? How do I get down to ground level? Who is Overman? When will the elevator be fixed? Who is Reich and why was he killed? You can get information from the link terminal. Just who are you anyway? I'm here to inspect the building. Yes? That's right. Routine inspection. Yes? Heard anything about an inspection, Sam? What kind of an inspection, Norville? A routine inspection. Routine, oh? Huh. That's unusual. It's not convenient right now. Quit pestering me when I'm busy. When will the elevator be fixed? When that saboteur is caught and castrated. Are you joking? No, the elevator stays where it is. Do you know a guy called Overman? Never heard of him. I'd like to join the security services. Are you kidding? You mean you're volunteering? That's right, I heard it's a great life. It is, but you're not hard enough. You've got to have tattoos and stuff. It's some kind of security device. It's not triggered by my weight. That elevator leads to security HQ. It's a stand... Having a problem with your card? Let me check that for you. All right, here's my card. Hmm. Looks just fine. Really? Must have been a glitch in the scanner. Security symbol. That must be their headquarters. This could be the most stupid thing I've ever done. Belongs to someone called Goddard. It's locked. No name on this one. It's locked. Lovecraft's locker. It's locked. 
Oltar, written in crayon. It's locked. Reich. It's locked. Belongs to someone called Cole. It's locked. I heard a little click. Reich. Nothing in here but some bottles. Ratty Chem Shampoo and Sani Cool Conditioner. I think I can live without them. Standard card slot. It's the link, and I don't. 